hello Aquarius welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for being here this is going to be your November 1st through the 15th uh, love and general reading I am doing a little extra for you guys since I didn't get to your reading at the end of October I'm so sorry for that it's just time just didn't allow it okay but I am gonna make it up we're gonna start with your general reading okay for those of you who are new to my channel I am a psychic medium I read tarot intuitively I start with the channeled message and then I move on to the description of the cards I am clairvoyant I am clairaudience and for those of you who are returning to my channel I love you guys so much please do not forget to comment you guys the more you comment my Aquarius is I haven't had too too much success with pulling you guys in but I'm hoping that that will change I really need your comments, even if it's just like, a, oh, that resonated, or oh, no, it didn't resonate. That's fine. The more I hear from you, the more I can tap into your energy, okay? So for those of you who have been continuing and been so supportive of my channel, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get started. Okay, so Aquarius. I am feeling um, the beginning of November, due to us being in Scorpio season, there is going to be a lot of energy surrounding karma clearing for you guys. I do recommend um, a karmic past life reading for Aquarius in November because this is such a karmic energy for you guys that you're shifting into, okay? Um, I will leave all my information below for a personal reading. A lot of you guys I'm hearing are waiting for success, like you've been waiting for something to change in your life. There has been a sense of stagnation in your life. There's been something you've been waiting for. I feel I'm hearing freedom. It's like you feel trapped or you've been waiting for something to change. You need some freedom. It's like you're trying to break free from something that you feel you've been trapped in for a really long time, okay? And I'm feeling like there's been a strong faith in releasing yourself from something that you've been really unhappy about, okay? And I feel like it's almost like you're developing a stronger sense of faith, a stronger sense of connection to um, the source, to the creator, to God. And I feel like a lot of you guys are, are really awakening to the potential of being psychics, of being clairvoyants, of being intuitives, of being empaths. Some of you guys want to pursue a career in healing in the medical field. Um, I'm seeing a lot of energy work. So some of you guys may do a lot of energy work already, like Reiki healing or you're doing acupuncture. But I feel like it's almost like you're ready to take something to the next level. There is an awakening to the potential of the things you can do. But I am seeing some blockages surrounding your self-esteem or feeling like you're not good enough, okay? I am seeing Aquarius for a really long time. There has been a shadow from your family dimming your light. It's not that it's their fault. It's that you feel you've been constantly under scrutiny from your family, that you've constantly been under attack, like they're verbally very judgmental of you, or you feel almost like you've always had to dim yourself to accommodate your family because if you were to do more than them or if you were to do more than your siblings or more than anyone else, it's like you feel as if people would kind of come down on you, okay? And you guys have such a deep fear of failure and there is such a deep fear of your own success. So it's like a double-edged sword for you, Aquarius, November 1st through the 15th. There is an energy surrounding clearing. I'm hearing clearing, okay? I am seeing that you're walking away from something that doesn't serve you anymore. A lot of you guys feel very weighed down by your responsibilities. So make sure that you have enough self-care for yourself the beginning of November, okay? Um, I'm hearing shifting gears, okay? I do feel that you're leaving something heavy behind. This is a karmic contract that you guys are breaking the beginning of November. You're leaving a Scorpio behind or a Cap I'm sorry, a Cancer Pisces. You're detaching. You're leaving this, this karmic connection, okay? And for others of you, this feels like a strong um, Virgo. Capricorn Taurus this cycle is ending okay 
Aquarius, the beginning of November, it's almost going to feel like an energetic click, okay? You're going to realize your whole life is just shifting in a different direction in a way where you never knew you had the potential, okay? But it's going to require a sacrifice, all right? So moving in to November, again, the Triumph card in reverse, a lot of you guys, spirit has slowed you down. The divine has slowed you down to help you align with a higher purpose. Your higher purpose involves humani humanitarian work and humanity. Some of you guys are actually working on um, becoming doctors is what I'm hearing, or you, you're going to pursue this, this dream that you've had to be a doctor, um, a holistic doctor. A lot of holistic healing is what I'm seeing here, okay? Some of you guys are starting your own class. Like you guys have gotten um, certified in, in some kind of teaching, holistic teaching, healing teaching, and you will be kind of launching this in the beginning of November, okay? And I do see a lot of excitement around this. Others of you, you've been asking God, you've been asking the creator, whoever it is, you've been praying to a higher source to give you answers about your, your, your life purpose and your soul mission. Aquariuses have a very karmic energy when it comes to family and being overshadowed with their success. Aquarius has a strong karmic energy surrounding mother. There is always a deep attachment to mother. So if you want to know if an Aquarius is going to love health in a healthy way in the future and have healthy relationships, you have to look at the connection Aquarius has with mother. It's like the cancer energy, okay? You guys are very, although very free in nature, there is such a deep desire to be validated by the mother, okay? And this is like almost like a karmic, it's like a karmic purpose to feel in alignment with the mother energy, but it's also a soul mission to learn how to cut the ties, to learn how to cut the umbilical cord, to break yourself free from the judgment of your family, the judgment from others. Because once you're able to clear that, you're really going to step into your power of success of your own individuality that's free, free from whatever, you know, your father, your mother wants you to do. Now, with the sacrifice energy, a lot of you guys are really shining the beginning of November. You guys are really awakening. So the universe is giving you downloads on new activities, new creative projects, careers, but you're avoiding your shadow work, okay? You can't just walk away from something and call it healing. That's not how it works. And I know you guys know that. There is a deep need to, to, to surrender into your shadow work so you can really move forward in such a confident way so you can regain your sense of power okay with the patience card in reverse you guys are lacking the patience with your life purpose so if you want this fast you need to be willing to see the negative aspects of your soul and your psyche you can't just pretend like everything is okay because this is going to keep rising and it's going to catch up to you does that make sense on the other side of all that energy, there is so much abundance, you guys. I want you to have that faith, okay? Really look into the law of attraction. And I'm also getting a vision of green stones. Specifically, I'm hearing green opal. And I am seeing um, ruby fuchsia or fuchsite, okay? Those two stones, work with those stones to manifest the dreams that you're trying to manifest, okay? Let's look into your love life, Aquarius. <clears throat> I'm hearing releasing control, let go of control. You've been trying to control something with a love situation. I'm hearing for the past six months. Spirit is saying for the past six months. You've been trying to control a situation with a Virgo Capricorn Taurus. For some of you, it's been a another Aquarius Gemini Libra. Strong Libra is coming up here. Sun, moon, rising. 
or a Scorpio or a water sign. There's been a strong need to control kind of energies in your environment when it comes to love out of fear that you're going to lose someone again, out of fear that you're going to lose. Aquarius in love, please, November 1st through the 15th. I'm hearing clearing and centering. So some of you guys are going to hear of a pregnancy. You are pregnant. You're going to realize the person you were you were dealing with, this earth sign, is pregnant. Um, or they. it's like your person that you really wanted to be with. You're going to hear about a pregnancy that they had with someone else, which is really going to shock you. Aquarius in love, November 1st through the 15th. Do not sabotage relationships that are coming your way that are sent by the divine Aquarius. Know when it's you who's the problem and know when it's them. It's not always the people coming into your life. This is about self-reflection for you. There's a lot of um, competition here. Like you needing to kind of assert yourself or needing to prove something to people. But listen... There is a beautiful energy here. Someone who has a child. I feel like this person has a child already. I'm getting a vision of them having a child. This person feels like a Libra. They may be a Gemini Aquarius. They are coming in to show you a new way of loving. Let them. Let them. There's going to be a lot of communication a lot of telepathic communication, a lot of online communication for you. You're dealing with someone online, okay? For some of you. So we're moving in with the tower in reverse. This is a big deal. We have the ace of pentacles, okay? Your focus has been definitely on building the five of wands and the seven of cups. Listen, there is a frustration surrounding an energy here of wanting something that isn't going to manifest for you. There is a water sign that you want really bad. A Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It is not manifesting because it's not the time and you guys are pushing really hard. You're pushing really hard to get this person to love you or to get this person. The more you push, the more you push them away. Okay? So it's time to be very flexible in your love life in November. Your natural instinct in November is going to want to be to control and to possess. Don't let yourself fall into the cycle again. I'm hearing the cycle again. You guys have a Capricorn trying to show you love, like they're trying to you know, offer you. I'm hearing they're bringing offerings to you. I, I'm having a vision of you shunning it or pushing it away because you've been hurt so much. Don't allow your past to ruin your future. You guys have a beautiful future ahead, okay? Don't let your past ruin your future. Who's coming towards you, Aquarius, in love? There's a big shift for you guys in matters of love. There's a childhood sweetheart coming back in. And I feel like this was someone you were with in high school. A, a fire sign. Either it's a fire sign or this is a Libra. I keep seeing strong Libra. A lot of you guys are dealing with air and water and earth. I don't see too much of the fire energy here. Okay, listen, this this is big. You guys are undergoing a massive shift when it comes to your love life of changing everything that you thought you were into something new. No more codependent behaviors. No more allowing people to take from you. No more allowing people to take advantage of you. Everyone has, that has been in your life right now that has hurt you has served as a mirror to you, to your growth. The judgment call is about Archangel Michael calling you out of your BS, out of your illusions, out of, out of not even your BS, but just 
out of putting up with the BS, okay? It's like enough is enough. There, you, you can't keep going like this. You can't keep, keep hurting yourself in the process of trying to love other people. How do you love yourself? Do you like yourself? It's a complete reconstruction of your heart in order for you to find a love that is worthy. So the Ace of Pentacles is a promising energy with the Five of Wands, okay, and the Seven of Cups. You have a lot of options. You do have an offer coming in. Again, strong air, strong earth coming in to offer love. You guys are still holding on to a water sign that doesn't really want to reconnect here, okay? Cross watchers, if that's not you, don't worry about it, okay? This is only for the water signs who know they are done with Aquarius. This, this water sign, I feel like you're clinging to this because they are a representation of the feelings of rejection that you haven't coped with. You haven't dealt with where in your life, in your childhood, have you felt rejected. This is a, a direct correlation to your the masculine in your family, the father, you felt abandoned, you felt betrayed, you felt left behind by the father figure. Now, this is what this is mirroring. This is why you can't let this water sign go. <clears throat> the minute you can clear yourself from that, from this person's energy, you have new energy coming in, okay? Now, there is going to be a desire to want to be competitive. You may want to be competitive to get someone. Don't lower yourself to that standard because this person might only see you as an option. While you're trying to fight for this coin, they're looking at this like, yeah, we're still dating. I don't know you like that. So don't jump. Don't move into a place where you feel like you need to show how you can provide for somebody and how what you could give them. Because you know what, baby? They have not deserved that from you yet. Got that? They haven't deserved that. So don't give it away. Don't give it away to someone who doesn't deserve you. Especially water. The water sign needs to be cut. Okay? Now, the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in reverse. Knight of Swords, Three of Swords. Okay, listen. Some of you guys are going to go to battle with a... Um, Maybe an older feminine energy. Maybe this person's older, but they're definitely wise. They've been through a lot. They, they know their shit, but they're coming at you crazy. Okay? For some of you, this is going to be someone who is going to hurt you for the purpose of you freeing yourself of these negative patterns. You work with this person. There's money involved. You work with this person. Or they're a part of your friend group. There's something, there, there's a connection here. And there's going to be a very vicious verbal battle here. Like a, a harsh communication. And it's going to hurt you. Okay? It's going to be painful. But the reason why you're going through this is to help you break free from the times that you've allowed people to do this to you. This is going to be the last straw for you, Aquarius. And some of you guys... If you're waiting for someone to come into your love life, watch your communication and how you're collaborating with other people. I'm hearing people are finding you intimidating. So watch your demeanor because you have a lot of love to give. But if you're coming at them with that sword, you know, a lot of people don't know that on the inside you're very loving and you're so loyal. You're so down. If you want things to manifest and to work in your favor, allow yourself to work in collaboration with people. I'm hearing this, I'm, I'm getting a feeling of this energy that you guys may feel. If someone isn't doing something right away for you, you cut them off or you're like, you write them off. Patience. Give yourself time. Give yourself time to really analyze the situation because I see really good opportunities for you here. But allow love in Aquarius, okay? Mwah. Thank you so much. Talk soon.